Marami tayong pangungaraan sa pagkuha ng derivative ng isang function. Dalawa sa rules na pag-aaralan natin ngayon ay yung tinatawag na power rule at constant rule sa pagkuha ng derivative ng isang function. Now, ang power rule, by definition, kung meron tayong x to the n, ang derivative ng x to the n with respect to x is basically n times x to the n minus 1. Na kung saan yung ating exponent ay ibababa natin na magiging coefficient ng x at magsusubtract tayo ng 1 doon sa exponent ng ating given function para makuha natin yung derivative ng ating function na x to the n. So for example, kung meron tayong function na 3x to the 5 at kailangan natin kunin yung derivative na 3x to the 5 in terms of x, ang gagawin lang natin is ibababa natin yung 5 sa x na exponent. So magkakaroon tayo ng 5 times 3 of x raised to 5 minus 1 na ginagamitan ng power rule. So ang derivative ngayon ng 3x to the 5th will be 15x to the fourth. So, yan yung isa sa mga rules ng pagkuha ng derivative ng isang polynomial or function tulad ni, tulad na ito. Now, yung pangalawa naman, ang derivative naman ng 2x in terms of x is yung ating exponent na 1 doon sa ating x, ibababa natin, kaya meron tayong 1 times 2 times x raised to 1 minus 1. At alam natin na ang 1 minus 1 is equal to 0, and any number raised to 0 is simply 1. So, ang derivative ng 2x is simply 2. At yan yung power rule na tinatawag sa pagkuha ng derivative ng isang function. Yung susunod naman nating rule sa pagkuha ng derivative ay yung tinatawag na constant rule of derivative. So, kung meron tayong constant c at pag kinuha natin ang derivative ng constant c in terms of x, ito ay equal to 0. So, as example natin, mas mauunawaan natin yung paggamit ng constant rule. So, dun sa example number 1, meron tayong 235 raised to the negative 12. At kung kukunin natin yung derivative nitong term na ito, in terms of x, ito ay magiging 0 dahil 235 raised to negative 12 ay constant lang. So, ang pagkuha ng derivative na isang constant ay laging equal to 0. Tulad ng example number 2, meron tayong e raised to pi at ang pagkuha ng derivative ng e raised to pi in terms of x is equal to 0 dahil yung pi ay isang constant at ang e ay isang constant din ng ating natural number. So, kung meron tayong derivative ng 7 in terms of x, Tulad nga na sinabi ko sa constant rule, ito ay mag equal lang sa 0. So, yan yung pangalawang rule ng derivative or rule sa derivative na pag-aaralan natin. Ngayon naman, pagsasamahin natin yung mga iba't ibang rules doon sa pagkuha ng derivative na isang given function. Now, doon sa example number 1, kukunin naman natin yung derivative ng quantity 3x plus 2 raised to 2 in terms of x. At sa pagkuha nito, meron tayong isang step na gagawin bago natin gamitin yung power rule. At iyon ay yung pag-expand ng ating binomial na 3x plus 2 raised to 2. So alam natin na kapag ka-inexpand natin yung 3x plus 2 raised to the second power, it will be equal to 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. Ngayon, na-simplify na yung ating binomial raised into a power, pwede na natin kunin yung derivative nitong function na ito. So, ang derivative ng 9x squared plus 12x plus 4 in terms of x is parang pagkuha lang ng mga derivative individually ng ating function. So, kukunin natin yung derivative ng 9x squared, derivative ng 12x, at derivative ng 4. At alam natin, ang derivative ng 9x squared is 18x, ang derivative ng 12x is 12, at ang derivative naman ng constant is equal to 0. Therefore, ang derivative ng 3x plus 2 raised to 2 is 18x plus 12. At yung ating pangalawang example naman, yung ating function ay... Um, third root of x squared at kukunin natin yung derivative nito in terms of x. Ngayon sa pagkakatong ito, pag nakakita kayo ng radical na function sa inyong um, derivative, kailangan nyo lang gawin is i-convert yung ating radical function into an exponential function. So, kailangan alam nyo yung iba't ibang rules sa algebra at matatandaan nyo yung mga rules tulad ng rules of exponents para makapag-convert tayo at makapag-simplify ng mga functions. So, ngayon, from third root of x squared, para makuha natin yung derivative niya at magamit natin yung ating power rule, it's change natin to into exponent at magiging 
x raised to 2 over 3 yung ating radical function. So ngayon na meron na tayo yung exponential function, mas madali nating magamit yung constant rule. So pagkuha ng derivative ngayon ng x raised to 2 thirds, gagamitin natin yung ating power rule na ginamit kanina. So ang gagawin lang natin is ibababa natin si 2 over 3 at magma-minus 1 tayo dun sa ating exponent para makuha natin yung derivative ng ating function. At yung 2 third minus 1 is similar to 2 over 3 minus 3 over 3 which is equal to 1 third. Therefore, yung ating exponent ngayon is magiging negative 1 third. So yung derivative ng x raised to 2 thirds is 2 thirds times x raised to negative 1 over 3. Now, pwede pa natin isimplify yung sagot natin kasi yung ating negative exponent, pwede natin siyang gawing fraction. So, meron na tayo ngayong 2 all over 3 times x raised to 1 third para yung ating exponent or yung fractional exponent ay magiging positive. At from fractional exponent, pwede natin siya ngayong i-convert into radical at yung ating final answer in its simplest form will be 2 all over 3 times the third root of x. At yan yung pagkuha ng derivative ng function using the power rule and the constant rule. Now yung ating pangatlong example, kukunin naman natin yung derivative ng a all over b raised to 10 plus e in terms of V. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon is i-convert naman natin yung term na merong fraction at gagawin natin siyang negative exponent para mas madalian tayong sa pagkuha ng derivative ng ating function. So, pag sinimplify natin yung ating derivative nitong ating function na ito, meron na tayo ngayon derivative ng a times b raised to the negative 10 in terms of v at yung derivative ng e in terms of v. At ang derivative nitong ating first term, ibababa lang natin si negative 10, magma-minus 1 tayo sa exponent para makuha natin yung derivative ng ating first term. At yung second term naman natin, since yung e is a constant, so ang derivative ng constant is 0, so yung derivative nitong second term natin is equal to 0. Therefore, yung derivative nitong ating function na ito is equal to negative 10 a times v to the negative 10. At kapag invert natin yung ating negative exponent, pwede natin siyang simplify into negative 10a all over v raised to 11. At ito ngayon yung ating derivative ng ating example number 3. Now, sa example number 4 naman, ito yung application ng derivative. Alam natin, ang derivative na isang function, yun yung equation ng slope ng ating um, function or tangent line doon sa ating function. So, sa ating example number 4, we need to find the equation of the tangent line given that the function is 2x squared at x equal to 1. So, hanapin daw natin yung equation ng tangent line at x equal to 1 given yung f of x. At alam natin, kapag ginraph natin yung f of x, yung ating f of x ay isang parabola. So, ito yung ating graph ng 2x squared at x equal to 1. Meron tayo ngayong tangent line na mabubuo at ngayon, ang goal natin is to find the equation of this tangent line using the derivative. So, ang una nating step is kukunin natin yung derivative ng ating function which is is 2x squared. Ang derivative ng 2x squared is 4x at ito ngayon yung equation na gagamitin natin sa paghanap ng slope nitong ating line na ito. Now, yung sa second step naman natin, since given tayo ng x, kailangan nating hanapin yung y value ng ating x at equal to 1 given this particular function. So, if x is equal to 1, then f of 1 is equal to 2 times 1 squared, which is equal to 2. So, ito na ngayon yung ating value ng y. So, yung ating point na ito, yung ating uh, gagamiting um, point of tangency dito sa ating function is at 1 and 2. So, since ang tanong is hinahanap natin yung equation ng tangent line, Pwede na natin gamitin yung step 1 and step 2 to find the equation of our tangent line. Given that yung ating x value is 1, yung y value is 2, at yung equation ng ating slope is 4x. So yung step number 3, isahanapin natin yung specific value ng ating slope at 0.12. So we have the slope equal to 4 times 1 which is 4. So ito ngayon yung ating numerical value ng slope given 
x is equal to 1. So sa pagsulat ngayon ng equation ng tangent line using the point slope form, yung ating equation nitong tangent line na ito at x equal to 1 is y minus 2 equal to 4 times x minus 1. At yan yung paggamit ng mga derivative rules sa pagkuha ng derivative ng ating function.